Deep Rock Galactic is an ADHD satisfying horror shooter where you compete with the environment to see who is more destructive and unsustainable. Spoiler, uh, it's us. This game is a certified banger, and if you haven't played it, you should, and here's why. Why are you stealing the ovaries? Because they're not theirs anymore. Hey guys, welcome oh. back. In this episode, I'm stealing milk from the mommy fridge. That's what separates us. I steal it from the daddy fridge. <laughs> if you've ever wanted to experience what it's like to be deadly, efficient, attractive, and a minor, I welcome you to my Minecraft Let's Play, because today, we'll actually be preying on your arachnophobia. Oh, they're swarming! Listen, there is nothing wrong with spiders. They'll only eat, uh, just a few family members. I'm not doing so hot, guys. So, it's time to get woke. You and stop being so goddamn close-minded. <laughs> I'm just kidding. First off, what are you doing here, and what are these things? Well, to be honest, I don't really know what dwarves are. Here's my theory on why the dwarves are actually space Germans. Number one, <laughs> they <short>. drink a lot. <laughs> they dwarves? sometimes wear leader hosen. But at this point, I'm too afraid to ask because after seeing what they did with the KFC deep fryer, they intimidate me. Why is Wubby just cheering over our corpses? Dude, I fucking made it. Sorry about your condition. I don't have failureitis. I don't fucking lose. Your goal is to appease the most certainly OSHA certified company, Deep Rock. Galactic. Don't worry, the whole procedure is OSHA compliant. I don't think anything we're doing is OSHA compliant. Which pays you minimum wage to go into holes and mine materials like Morkite, Ebo nuts, and methamphetamine. Now, when I first started, I was but a wee lad, but since then, I've racked up a whopping nine whole hours on the game, so I definitely feel qualified to tell you about the fresh player experience. I don't mean to be uh, a bother, but I am dead okay, on the grind rail. Yo, I told you not to fucking do that shit again. My vibe is off as fuck. I'm sorry that my death is an inconvenience to you. I'm glad you're able to finally be able to understand the follies that you have as a human being and work to improve yourself. Now, don't fucking die again, bitch. Because this game is incredible, and it would be criminal for me not to share it with you. You'll begin in the hub, most likely getting wasted. The bar here has all sorts of wacky drinks at your disposal. You should totally drink all of them. This is definitely my favorite spot to run around in circles while that one friend on Discord says he'll be back in two minutes. There's also the hoop. It's great fun. Just don't get too friendly with it. But that doesn't matter right now, as we've got rocks to eat. Deep Rock is not a complicated game. Uh, at, at least so far. Yo, this shit looked like the battle pass. There is a tutorial, but I didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> I don't remember anything from the tutorial. My brain is not the size of an average human being. It is actually far smaller. Now to begin, choose a mission and enter the drop pod. There are set missions the game wants you to do, assignments, but if you're like me, you'll be too stupid to realize that. What the fuck? And spend an entire six hours not doing them. I don't have a single one. Oh, I do have one. Your first mission will most likely consist of just mining more kite and, uh, something else. I don't know, it's randomized. Collect Ebo nut? <laughs> The entire game is essentially based around the idea of looking for colorful rocks or eggs and not getting consumed. This will be pretty easy in the beginning. Oh, fuck off. As the default difficulty is quite forgiving. But if you want to be a true Chad miner, you bump that shit up as high as possible, my god. Okay, maybe lower down to like three. Uh, I, oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Speaking of difficulty. What? We just started. You'll have an especially rough time if you don't understand the four different classes, as every good team has one of each. Three of us are gunners. Maybe we should have a little more diversity. Diversity. Hey, yo, Mac, Mac is woke as fuck. My first choice was the gunner, because as an American, I can understand bullets better than quality infrastructure and transportation. The gunner is great at shooting everything. However, he's a uh, kind of fucking slow. The minigun takes a while to rev up, and this can be uh, inconvenient. Oh! The gunner as a whole is slow, but eventually effective. A zip line is just a worse grappling hook, but it's useful for those ceiling rocks and mass delivery. Finally, his bubble shield is great for protecting down friends during revives and those occasional moments where you need just a little time in your safe space. However, it does make you feel like a bit of a caged animal, being watched upon by hundreds, showing you the true food cycle that nature always intended. Now, a question. Have you ever forgotten to turn on the oven? And all of your guests are arriving, and the only food you have is canned chicken. Well, luckily, the driller has your back. Die, you sack of shit. Me one sack of shit. Uh <laughs> the driller's flamethrower is pretty spicy, but his main appeal is his ability to go anywhere by making holes. I made a little tunnel. Hey, my tunnel. I worked so hard on it. If you're lost and don't feel like using the map, be because you can't read, just aim in the general direction you want to go, and you'll figure it out, sport. Just don't hold left click for too long. One sec, uh, 
I have performance anxiety. This class really only works because the game has about five polygons total, and thus yeah. everything in the environment is fully destructible. Yeah, damn, bro, they really gaped them out here. Damn, damn. Oh. Each map is procedurally generated, so you're free to fuck up anything the game worked so hard to make. He's basically vital to every team because not having him means you have to manually mine through everything, and I don't need any more carpal tunnel. He's also got a satchel charge, but you should not use it. Not because it's bad, but actually because- Oh shit, I died. Oh, Mac is fucking dead. Somebody dead charged my ass. I was trying to blow up the boss and it blew yeah, up yeah, in yeah, my no hand. Worries. Every class has some form of grenade and the engineer has the best one. It doesn't do any damage, but deceiving bugs with Fortnite dancing is more than worth it. What the fuck is he doing? The engineer's primary weapon is a shotgun and you would think that it would be great, but you thought wrong. At this point, I'd rather just melee everything or just blow shit up with a grenade launcher. I love this thing. It's my favorite ass blasting weapon. One of my veteran friends said it was bad, but I do not believe in these downright heretical words. The engineer also has a turret, but for some reason, I always forgot to use it. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, son. Damn, Bugs. bro versus way really hitting everybody, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold, hold up. <laughs> do I go to for that planned turret hood? I don't know what you want me to do. Which is probably why we kept dying. Jesus fucking Christ, something shat on me and I died again. It's actually pretty strong when it doesn't succumb to the colony. The main purpose of the engineer is to create platforms, which is nice when your entire fucking team chose Scout. And now no one can mine the gold on the ceiling. Speaking of Scout, he is the best class, and you cannot convince me otherwise. This is because the Scout is the only class with a grappling hook. And if you know anything Thing about video games, adding a grappling hook to anything makes the game objectively better. While other classes have to work their way around obstacles, especially the gunner, the scout simply doesn't give a fuck. If you see a place, you can go there. Some missions will ask you to build pipelines, and you can probably guess which class is the most fun to use on them. However, don't forget that you are in fact not playing Apex Legends, because there is fall damage. <laughs> oh no! What the fuck? Your little leggies can and will break in speedrun capable record time, so don't do this. Or okay, no, hold on. Let me get there first. Don't fucking kill yourself. Ah, right, fuck. Oh, oh my god. god! Since the scout is the peak of dwarven mobility. Oh, I've made a mistake. He's also responsible for making sure your team has proper visibility because these caves are darker than the sewer under my head. Every dwarf does come with rechargeable flares, but they only provide a limited amount of light. While the scout's flare can light up massive caverns. Personally, the scout is the most fun class, and he's necessary for every team that enjoys having eyes. So yeah, I believe in scout supremacy. And I will not change my stance on this matter. However, that doesn't mean that everyone should fucking choose him. Only let me choose him. Honestly, the important part isn't necessarily what class you pick, but just making sure you have one of each. Did you also know that Deep Rock Galactic is a great test of friendship? Father, please. I don't want to do the laundry again. Fuck you. No dwarf left behind except when they're dead. I don't think you should do that. Nah, he'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> because they can often show you which of your friends you all like the least. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not you. No, please! I put the one down! That's insane. No, please! No, please! What the Why? fuck? You have been blocked on Twitter. <laughs> a lack of trust is only exemplified with the amount of friendly fire you will come across. Why am I stuck? Alright, bye. Who threw a bomb at me? Someone threw a bomb at me! That was, uh... Fuck you! The developers knew exactly what they were doing when they designed a bug that just fucking blows up when you kill it and made it massive. Luckily, if you go down, which will be quite often, every dwarf is supplied with a steady surplus of fresh lean for reviving purposes only. I don't have any of this purple stuff. What, lean? God fucking damn it. Your brains are rotted. Deep Rock can offer great life lessons. We've got a cave pussy. One being that drugs solve all of your problems and better drugs solve them even faster. This is a joke, don't actually drink lean. Let's assume that you aren't getting constantly revived. What objectives might you have to complete for that sweet gamer loot to impress your Discord EGF? I can purchase hair? The most dangerous tasks were area defense, in which we had to just build a machine and wait for it. This doesn't seem so bad until you realize that if you aren't always moving, your average life expectancy is. For missions where you simply must collect bright rocks, Molly is your way of dispensing them. And even if the doors don't love her, I still do. Wait, what? She comes to pretty much wherever you are and has infinite storage. It's like she's bigger on the inside. Just like your mother. At the end of every mission, you'll have a limited amount of time to rush back to the drop pod that shat you out, which will be lit by Molly. During this mad dash, every bug and its fucking mother will come out of the woodwork to stop you. There are a lot of bug types you'll be defending from, such as ceiling spitters, flying weaponized testicles. You gotta get the, the cave testicles. Mm. And these fucking grabbers. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my god. What happened? He got grabbed by the uh, ceiling. Oh, These bitches will steal you away from your family just to drop you off a cliff and laugh at your sad corpse. Most of the strategies the bugs employ are just to overwhelm you until you can't even see the screen. Generally, the smaller spiders try to corner you so that you walk right into the specials, which on their own aren't too bad, but become a big problem when you can't walk anywhere. Also, uh, wait, uh, that isn't a bug. Yes, this game does have mosses, but in the early game, they mostly just fly around while mama's little simps do most of the work, except for this guy who literally pretends to be one of your team members. Honestly, if I wanted psychological warfare, I'd just leave my house. I do like the variety of throwing robots into the mix though. It helps calm my disdain for things with more than four legs. What I do not like though, is this motherfucker. This rolling piece of shit is pure evil. You will be minding your own business until he just barely grazes you and sends you flying into the horde. They roll constantly while being incredibly fast and tanky. Yeah, uh, have fun dipshit. Fuck off. The only helpful bugs are loot bugs, which are pretty self-explanatory. These confuse me though, because every time I kill one, the dwarves feel bad about it. I die a little inside every time I have to take out a loot bug. But they keep doing it. They actually treat the loot bugs better than they treat Molly, which is a fucking crime, because it's nice to have a friend when all of your real ones are dead. Speaking of friends, it's actually possible to befriend some of the enemy bugs and use them as pets. Just simply beat them into submission until they learn to love it. Just watch out for more friendly fire, because they don't really look any different from the regular enemies and are so susceptible to having their limbs burned off. No! Now, if having friends isn't in your skill set, Deep Rock understands and supplies you with a free AI girl, uh, or boy, <laughs> if you're into that, friend to play with you as much as you need. But to be honest, the Deep Rock community seems quite nice. They love the game and only want the best for it. So if you have no one to play with, I'm sure you can find a friend on their Discord. It's also important to mention that I've barely covered everything this game has to offer, as this is just what you'd experience in the first nine hours if you completely fuck up progression. I'm not kidding, it took me six hours to realize this game had perk points. Overall, the game is pretty great and offers a lot of customization. It does a pretty good job of fueling my desire to make spider roast in the most interesting ways possible. If you somehow didn't like any of the weapons I've shown off, well, each class has like two more options each. So if I shit talk to your favorite class, I'm sure there was a loadout that would win me over. I'm still interested in playing this as I haven't had a good crippling addiction in a while. So I might revisit this game when I have more hours on it. But for now, oh my God, you can watch me try gambling on the terrible experience that is Valorant. If you had a satisfactory time here, then a calm slap on the like button would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget, a rock and stone is everything. Everything.